Hello, so this is a quick video on Florida.io, which is a pretty neat tool for uh, data analysis. Uh, it's basically an online platform, it's free, and there's no sign up for anything. So uh, you essentially get your browser, open the website, and start analyzing your files. Uh, if you do enough flow that you need a data analysis, but not enough that you want to spend uh, big bucks on, on uh, Flojo and FCS Express and so on. Um, Florida.io is pretty nice uh, alternative. Um, this is what you get when you uh, open uh, the software. So there's a bunch of information about the group. Um, there's actually a nice uh, review of a bunch of uh, freewares available. Uh, and so I thought I'd had to have to do that. Uh, but uh, if you have a look at their comments about all these different platforms, I. I pretty much agree with everything they, that they say. I used to use, uh, utilize uh, WinMDA at the very beginning of my career. Uh, so that's uh, painful memories. Mm. Uh, otherwise, you find a bunch of information about how to use the software on their guide. And the nice thing is that it's not a giant amount of text. Everything is pretty clear. Uh, and so you kind of get the feel of the software really quickly by clicking around on it. Um, under tools, we have a bunch of available uh, tools, uh, either on the software, uh, FCS editor, converter of files, uh, merging files, and so on. Otherwise, it goes to uh, other sites to find so flow finder, for example, for your panel design and stuff like that. Um, let's have a look at the uh, analysis features on that platform. Uh, I'm going to show you conversation and just a general workflow of uh, simple as a, we're just going to screen GFP file, uh, uh, GFP uh, expression in, in a bunch of different samples. So we're going to start with conversation um, simply by loading the files as a drag and drop thing. Uh, these conversation files had uh, conversation applied to them as we acquired the data. So I'm going to delete uh, that conversation just to make it a little bit simpler. Uh, conversation on Florida uses uh, autospill, which is awesome. Uh, autospill, if you're not quite sure what it is uh, and why you should use it, there's a video over there that's going to tell you uh, all about it. Um, so we're going to click on comp and select the parameters that needs to be compensated. The, soft, the tool automatically identifies the proper files. Uh, we're going to click on the apply. Uh, auto spill is automatically calculated. However, the gates, the auto, auto spill bounds uh, are incorrect at this point. We want to gate on these, uh, the, this main cluster over here. So you simply uh, select your gate and move it around. I'm going to do that for all of my parameter. Parameters. Uh, after all this clicking, uh, we're good to go. If you go to auto spill on any of these uh, samples, right click and click on details. Now you have uh, your conversation matrix and you can double click on it and change the values just to make sure that you know you have supremacy over the machine. At this point, you're going to start your analysis. So let's imagine you, you, you would have another uh, sample uh, on which you would apply your conversation, you will start getting on top of that uh, conversation matrix that you've made. And so I can click on my different uh, markers and change the axis to whatever I want to look at. Uh, you can see everything is kind of squashed at this point. So you can actually click on the axis and uh, access the uh, menu to transform uh, the, the data representation you can uh, transform using different um, scales over here. And clicking around, you get to get data that looks a little bit better. From there, you can set your gates. And essentially, continue your analysis based on uh, whatever is biologically relevant. So this is it for uh, competition. Uh, let's do a, just a workflow of a pretty simple uh, experiment. If you want to get rid of everything here, instead of deleting one by one, I, I just refresh the browser. Uh, I'm going to load my files. And here, we're just going to screen for GFP expression. Actually, everybody is 100% expressing uh, GFP. So as I make my case, I'm going to start with an ellipse over here over 
the main population of cells. Uh, from there, we can make a doublet discrimination thing. And finally, uh, GFP expression of my cells. Polygon, click, 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 click. Uh, by right-clicking, right-clicking is on your friend on this uh, uh, tool, so you can rename the gates and, and stuff like that. Um, at this point, we have the gating strategy for a single sample. By command selecting all these uh, gates over here, I can drag them on either every one of my samples, or more simply, I can go to pipelines at the bottom and clicking on all files will apply these same gates uh, for every one of these samples. And now my analysis is more or less done. The last thing I want to do is add a statistic. Um, and so, for example, in this case, we want the percentage uh, of the parent gate. And we're going to apply that to uh, all of my samples as well. So I'll explain why I need that. But at this point, uh, my screening is pretty much done, and I'm pretty happy. So I can now export the data. Uh, fairly simply, uh, you can either select on the pipeline one of the gates uh, that you've made, and maybe singlets would be more appropriate. Um, go to file, and we can export the uh, CSV statistic file or the image. Uh, if I click on image here, this is what we're going to be getting. Uh, there's a batch pipeline here that uh, I want to click if I just want uh, my files uh, on, separated on every figure. I can't access that through pipeline. So what I need to do is go back to WebCS files, select the uh, gate I want to display, click on uh, save image. Now I can batch this pipeline and change different parameters uh, of this figure as you see fit, click OK. And now I have a bunch of figures that just showed up in my download folder. So we are quite happy. Next, we can uh, export the CSV statistic file. And now we have uh, my sample name with the percentage. Uh, the percentage comes from this uh, statistic that I, I included. Uh, so this is why it's important to have uh, that involved in, in included in your uh, analysis. Um, finally, you can export uh, the workspace. And so that's essentially your, your set of uh, gates that we've made so far. So if this is an experiment that you're going to be um, uh, repeating over and over again, you don't want to gate uh, all the time, you can simply save uh, this uh, gating workspace. Uh, and to open it again, you're, you're simply going to open file and uh, open this uh, XML file uh, that you uh, will just save. This simply a uh, simple uh, experiment here, just screening for GFP, but there's a bunch of other tools, so cell cycle, kinetics, and so on. And so there's a bunch of things you can do with this particular software. So. Um, so here you go. It's a pretty solid platform. As far as freeware goes, that's probably the one I'm going to be uh, recommending going forward. So cheers. <laughs>